ain't going to stop till I got jewels like Santana. Rain down like the hurricanes going stand Tampa. I'm so hot, let me give you a taste. I'm like for fertile while I'm out of where I spit in your face. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. With bars and barbells, I'm Phil and this is... Sam. Happy you guys could join us today. Um, we love hip hop. We're we've been doing reaction videos for a little while now. Just getting back into it again after a layoff, after having some issues with our internet. We're back at it. Um, so like I said, we love music. We love uh, you know hip hop to to country. I'll listen to old school classic rock and roll. Uh, I listen to basically everything. But growing up, hip hop was predominantly what I listened to, as well as yeah, Sam. Sure. Um, with that said, we're also really passionate about fitness. We uh, really enjoy, you know, the the lifting lifestyle and and you know being healthy. Barbells. Yeah, that's the barbells aspect. We're both actually coaches for fitness, um, and uh, so you know that's like I said, the other aspect of our life. Music. If you're interested is, in fitness, go check out our Instagrams. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, that's in the description below. Um, with that said, too, if you guys haven't sub subscribed to our channel, please do. Um, if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you like how we break down any of the tracks that you've seen previously, make sure you go back and like those, <laughs> comment. If you remembered any bars or you hear any bars or you listen to on the tracks that we've broken down, you're like, oh, yo, you guys missed one. Go back and let us know in the comments and leave a comment on this video if you uh, like the reaction as well. We always appreciate the engagement and the love. Yes, it helps us and lets sure. us know if we're doing a good job. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Yeah, so uh, like I said, thank you so much for joining in, guys. Today, we have a Nazir Jones track, Nas. Uh, One Mike is the track. Um, not a, I think, overly popular track in terms of Nas's repertoire. Not something you'd think of probably off the bat, but this was a song that was really popular uh, when it came out because Nas was basically one of the kings of the game at that point. Um, One Mike, have you heard this song before? I want to say yes, but I don't exactly 100% know which one it is. Okay. But I was never really a huge Nas fan before I met Phil. I've heard most of his music through you. So. Okay. So um, this is probably not something, If even if you have listened to it before, it's not something you've really no. heard much of to recognize no. it and then, you know, really so. take it in. Yeah, no. I shouldn't say I wasn't a fan. I just was never really exposed to much of it. Yeah. Prior. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Nas is one, it was one of my favorite artists. I've seen him in concert, I think, probably five times oh, at wow. least. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I, and, and actually this song that he did live was really, really cool because he did like a theatrical performance with it. With really? like chairs and... That's you know, so cool. Yeah, he, he, he hmm. went all out with it. And you'll see why he was able to do it from the vibe of the song. Okay. Um, it's pretty cool. It's one of the, one of the classic Nas songs, in my opinion. But anyway, so enough chit chat. Yeah. Let's get into it. We'll see what Sam's first reaction to One Mic is. One of my favorite songs. Oh, so we got a video. Yeah. Cool. Nothing gonna stop me now. Nothing. I'm here. We here. It's your world. Yeah. Yo, all I need is one mic, one beat, one stage, one person front, my face on the front page, only if I had one love, one girl and one crib, one God to show me how to do things his son did, pure, like a cup of virgin blood, mixed with 151, one sip would probably make me flinch, see my name in the hieroglyphs, like Osiris and Isis, parables written inside papyruses, acknowledge it, we've been all tricked, time to come out of it, seeds watch us, grow up and try to follow us, police watch us, roll up and try knocking us, one knee I duck, could it be my time is up with my luck? I got up the cop again. Bus stop glass burst, a beam drops as Heineken. Ricochets between the spots that I'm hiding in. Black it out as I duck back, forget getting hit. This is my hood, I'm a rat to the death of it. To everybody, come on, little brothers is grown. The rats don't abortion your wound. We need more, walk with your soon. Sit from the star, sun, and the moon. And it's like a police chasing street sweepers and coppers. Sick up kids with no conscience, leaving victims with doctors. If you really think you're ready to fly. Mike. 
all I need is one cup. I think the video just even makes it like really heavy too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's uh, it visualize makes you visualize kind of yeah. what he's talking about and the rawness of it and yeah. that's that's the the repertoire of Nas is painting the picture of how raw everything is. Yeah. And I really like when you go through the verse, how it starts off nice and easy, nice and slow melodic and then he picks it up and picks it yeah, up picks it up as he's talking about more and more and more yeah. and then it comes to a peak and then he just says all I need is one mic that's it because I'm a I'm a I'm, a, I'm about poetry I'm a poet yeah right so all I need is one mic and I can deliver my message right yeah mm. yeah no it's and it's crazy because he's, he's talking about a lot of like I said like heavier like serious stuff throughout the whole thing yeah yeah. All I need is one cup, one page, and one pen, one prayer. Tell God, forgive me for one sin. Matter of fact, maybe more than one. Look back at all the hatred against me. Touch all of them. Jesus died at age 33. That's 32. To 20, 16 apiece, that's 32, which means one of my duns was holding 17. 27 hit your crew, 6 went into you. Everybody gotta die sometime. Hope your funeral never get caught up. Pain to go through the innocent, nothing to spare. Brothers roll up from wheelchairs, my heart is racing. Tasting revenge in the air. I let this all slide for too many years. Too many times now, I'm strapped with a couple of too many. If y'all people really with me, get busy. Load up the more than just holding this flow until you empty there's nothing in our way they bust we bust they rust we bust try and feel it i feel it in my gut that we take these dudes to war lie them down because we stronger now my people the time is now This is crazy, I'm on the right track, I'm finally found You need some soul searching, the time is now All I need is one mic like what like watching that video and hearing it i feel like it's just such a contrast to like like you hear a lot of these songs where they're talking about like being from the hood and like experiences and stuff but it's more in like a gangbanger way yeah and like yeah. this is just so real and raw yeah like i just like it, it made me feel like emotions watching it like i felt like almost like i was there you yeah. know what i mean yeah that's 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 the beauty of Nas is that he can take you really take you to that spot and make you visualize yeah. it and and like feel it more yeah. important yeah. right and you know all the stuff that he was talking in there like this is a i think this is one of the downfalls of nas is that he does that so well that you miss so much in the song when you don't actually listen and, and yeah. like we had the opportunity to watch the video here yeah i think that made it even more like, yeah. emotionally responsive but that he took pride in making the video as well you can, oh, for you sure. can tell and i I distinctly remember the video too of seeing this video and remembering this song and like that video of him walking around in that like that attire where he's wearing the do rag and like yeah. all in you know in that hood presence and like yeah, how really raw authentic. it is yeah. yeah 
and and you don't get the feeling like you said from him that he's playing a role no, or anything. No, not at all. Like he's just himself. Yes. Right? And then he's talking about what he's seeing from his point of view, from the people that he knows, from, you know, his experiences with his, you know, women or friends or drug dealers or gangbangers or anything like that. Yeah. And he's just basically the poet, the artist laying all the visuals out for you even though he probably took part in some of that stuff yeah. and was involved in it he's just it's the almost one like his vision of what he's seeing yeah but that's the thing i think that has been, like you said the art of hip hop that has been lost is that the beauty of these artists to be able to portray yeah that picture because yeah. that's where hip hop came from was these artists being able to say look this is what's happening in my environment yeah you guys need to take notice of what's going on yeah. and somebody like nas was able to connect that you know the culture of the mainstream culture with that raw culture and blend the two yeah to make it digestible for sure for but people who have no idea what that's like yeah but it's yeah. unfortunate that like i said people you know you, you wouldn't take the time to just sit down and listen to the song but now when you have done that i think it's very easy to see the power in it in that song for sure and two things kind of stand out to me like in response to what you just said is that one is i think you know not to go down like you know history of music but in the past like music was something that people sat down and just listened to yeah. right like they would sit down and gen genuinely yeah. want to take in a song as an activity whereas now like our life is so go 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 that like you're always doing something else while you're listening to music yeah. right so it's harder to have that experience yeah. and the other thing is that like you said like i don't get for a single second that he's playing a role or that he's doing it for clout like he's yeah. not talking about this because like oh like I'm so hard because I've seen all this and I've done all this. It's like, no, like I'm trying to express to people what's truly going on, where I'm from and like what we deal with. Not like, like you said, the gang bang or rap style where it's more for like attention, I yeah. would say. Um, which I think is a really nice alternative because, you know, like a lot of the stuff that he talked about now could still be, you know, relevant today. And yeah. This is how many years later. Exactly. So. It's 20 years later. And, uh, you know, I think the other thing that I really resonate with is that this was a single. Oh, wow. Like, this is his one of his main singles off the album. Yeah. That, like, was, like I said, pretty big at the time. It's not some something that you listen to now it doesn't come up often because yeah. it's not like a club a record time, yeah. or anything like that. Right? But I think it's an overlooked song in a lot of respects because, you know, unfortunately, it's not something, like I said, you're going to put on to listen at the gym. You're not yeah. going to put it on to, uh, you know, probably play in the car when you, you're driving or whatever. Yeah. But, like, it is something, like you said, if you were just to sit down and listen to music as an art form, mm -hmm. this would be a top-tier quality of a track. Oh, and, of course. And, like I said, that's what's cool, too, about when I saw it in, in person at the concert when he was doing his performance, a theatric performance, mm -hmm. because he was, like, playing one role and then playing another role. And, oh, like, cool. And, like, you know, he was being this person and then being that person yeah. and like and just that would be neat to see in person yeah and then like you know it, it was it was definitely very different from a hip-hop concert suit too because i've never seen any other artist do a, a segment like that where he did yeah. a theatrical version of his song and so That's that cool. was that was really cool so well, you can just tell he's such a creative individual yeah. right like between the other reaction video we did with Re rewind yeah and then this like you can you can just see right it comes through but yeah no, so, I really enjoyed that. I like that a lot. I think he did a really, really great job with that. And like I said, it's a really nice contrast to some of the other way, like can, to how other people portray similar topics. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think it's a shame because, like you said, it's not a, the type of song that, especially these days, is going to get much play just because of the nature of the song. But it's really well done and it has a really good message. So. Yeah. And I think, though, too, like I, I would say the difference, a lot of these Nas songs as well, like, there's a lot of other artists out there that do make some some similar kinds of vibes in terms of like maybe the messaging that they're trying to deliver or the way they deliver it. But I think Nod nah, just he exceeds all those other artists. Like he's just better in terms of his, still his rhyme scheme and like his play on words and like his his you know ability to put things that, together and make you visualize it. He just does all that better. And yeah. so it's he's still head and shoulders. So like I think the fact that he is looked upon as a lot of people think he's a goat, right? And he's definitely in my top five. Um, so I think the fact that he's there for a lot of people and does this kind of music in a lot of respects, 
you know, leads you to say, okay, like he does it so much better because this isn't what's popular. You have to yeah. be head and shoulders above everybody else to get you to recognize how good you are yeah. if it's not a popular style of rap. For sure. Right? Yeah. So, but that said, in his early days, he did have some stuff, like some more banger stuff. That was yeah, popular, I've, so. I've heard more of the mainstream stuff that like everybody listened to, right? Yeah. That wasn't just like his like top fans. But yeah. um, I really enjoyed this. Like, three thumbs up four <laughs> thumbs up for me <laughs> it's good because i said it was one of my favorite songs so i'm glad that she likes one yeah, of my favorite songs no, so. I, I really enjoyed it i like this one all right guys so i hope you enjoyed our reaction uh we enjoyed the song i love this song she likes the song which is great hopefully you guys <laughs> like the song too and you can recommend this to other people to get them to watch it because it yeah. is a classic and it needs to be remembered so share that with your friends uh, make sure you like this one so that the algorithm can pick up on it too <laughs> make sure you comment on the video let us know what your thoughts are and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this stuff and check out our other videos thanks so much for watching guys thanks. see you in the next one thanks guys we'll see you soon